Hello wonderful people. Today I'm going to walk you through on how to create your Facebook first advert and how to advertise how to create your Facebook page and how to advertise on your Facebook um, page. So the according to the last um, training which is introduction to digital marketing the next thing is Facebook page post engagement which is what I'm going to walk you through today so this is um, a kind of Facebook account so now let us um, um, you are new to Facebook and you are with your um, personal computer PC so you want to start advertising on Facebook here is how you go about it the first thing you need to do is you need to create a page on Facebook for your advert you need to create a page for your advert so to create a page we have three options here is it that I use this particular button create or I click on pages here on the left hand side here or I bring my arrow down to this drop down arrow then I click on manage pages so the easiest way is to click on create here then after that I'll click on page so the moment I click on page I will have two options here is that I want to build a business or brand or I want to build a community or public figure if I want to build a business or brand this is how I will go about it I'm going to click on get started but what is the difference between business or brand community or public figure so the difference between both is that business or brand is meant for business or brand building why community or public figure is meant for public figures like politicians at um, artists musicians and other ones or then you want to build a kind of page for your church mosque or association you use community so because we are going for a business so i'm going to use um this particular business or brand so i'm clicking on get started so the moment i click on get started it's going to request me to put a page name it's going to put to request me to put a page name now um the kind of page name we you want to use depends on the kind of business you have on ground now for instance you don't put your personal name as page name page name is what we appear to people whenever you are advertising so for this reason you put your business name and not a not your personal name so in that case i may decide to use any kind of name here but um, you know what i'm into a lot of online businesses so i'm into a lot of a lot of things which um i don't even know which one to use but um for instance i sell health products online i sell mathematics course online and i train people on how to use internet just the way i'm doing right now i train people for that as well i'm also a computer engineer are you with me so now for this purpose um for the purpose of the particular i would like to use the health industry i belong to that is the health aspect um among the health products i sell i sell libido products i sell um i sell weight management products i sell infection products i sell different kinds of products online so um let us um i want to deal with the weight management aspect i will just use I can use weight loss for my paid name. Weight loss experts as my paid name. Well, my paid name we we will we, sell my products before I even advertise on this. You know, if anybody should come across this product, this particular page rather, they will know that. I am into weight management. So for that being the reason, your page name must reflect, must be um in relate must be related to what you want to sell. Am I talking to somebody? Your page name must relate to what you want to sell online. Be it a service, let us not want to sell mathematics um, courses online, mathematics course online. I mean just try to post mathematics courses or mathematics experts and other things that is related to that so now weight management is what i am into so that should be the category i'm going to select so whatever the category you are into just type a word a single word out of your niche what i mean by niche is what you deal with now i deal with weight so if i should type weight i will have 
you can okay you can see i have weight loss center i have sport on uh, sport person local service shopping and retail sport and recreation so i'm going to use weight loss center so immediately after that it's requesting for my address in this aspect if you have a physical address it's easy for you to put it but as for me i am um, a digital premier. i don't have a physical shop my shop all my shops are online so i don't have a physical shop but i can just put uh, my office address where i can be born out with internet at ikeja jawa so i will just put ikeja alone so anybody that actually wants to buy products from me and they want to meet me in person then i can actually book appointments with them to meet me in social so place in somewhere private um so so the city i am in is um lagos state lagos nigeria so the postal coach is 234001 i'm not going to talk much on that so i'm excited to put my phone number now or not so it is optional so i'm going to leave that so now it's, i'm going to check this box don't show my address only show the company only show the town town city and region that this business is in so the reason why you need to uncheck this is that man some people are funny they may just decide to come to your area without notifying you and if you are dealing with a serious business whenever any customer wants to meet you or any client wants to meet with you they have to book appointments with you as a serious business so for that being the reason i'm going to click on don't show my address so anybody who is actually who wants to see me in person they should book appointment and i'm going to give them where when and how to miss me so you click on continue from here now the moment I click on continue it's loading it's loading okay now it's requesting me to put a profile picture which is actually um, what you need to pay attention to in this um, aspect what I would advise you is that whenever you want to do any business online, is either you get a graphic designer to customize a profile picture for you and a cover photo. We'll get to that cover photo aspect. A profile picture, your profile picture should represent your brand. For instance, if anybody should see my profile picture that I'm going to use, they will be able to know that yes, this particular page is all about this and nothing more. So now, for the purpose of this particular, I will go online and search for weight loss. Weight loss for black for blacks. The reason why I'm using this is that you know I'm dealing with Nigerians here and I want to sell to Nigerians. So I am going to what? I'm going to search anything related to Nigerians, that is the blacks. And if you are dealing with the white, you search things related to the white. Because of people, some people are fanatic about religion, race, color and other things so for the fanatics uh, among um, our people so i need to use what is related to our people so now um i search it then i click on images now under images look at this picture is a perfect picture for weight management anybody seeing this particular picture will know that yes this is a particular this is a perfect picture for weight management now in this aspect you can see some before and after images i will advise every digital marketer out here and any person who wants to advertise online, don't use any picture that is actually um, exposing um, some nudity because Facebook doesn't accept that. And any picture of before and after is actually some they are a way to actually claim some stuff for um, falsely. So for that being the reason, Facebook doesn't accept before and after image. So this particular picture is a perfect picture for profile picture and this particular picture is also a profile is also a perfect picture for profile picture likewise this but this is a white person and i said that earlier and this particular picture is exposing nudity this particular one exposes nudity um so um i think i have option up here this one is a perfect one so i'm going to save this particular picture so i'm saving this I will save it on my desktop so I will just put wait so my advice for you is um, when you are going into advertising online you need to create a particular folder for your um, pictures photo um, videos and other things 
so that whenever you want to say or want to pick anything from that uh, for your online business you know where to go to so I'm going to upload that picture I saved from Google now I save it on my desktop as weights okay here it is so I'm going to upload the image now so I've uploaded the image now it's now requesting me to put a cover photo a cover photo is like a banner on your Facebook page that entails if not all but some of the um, activities you do on that particular page or some of the business you you do there so um for this being the reason you need to get a graphic designer to actually customize a cover photo for you a gorgeous and attractive one so i'm going to skip that on your own you can decide to put it so the moment i skip it my page is um already created i've created my page so now um from here look at the page you can see weight loss experts this is the page, this is the profile picture. So, um, and this particular angle, this particular area is where the cover photo is supposed to be. You see, it looks like a banner. It looks like a banner. And the size of this banner is 400 by 150 pixel. So, um, from here, I'm going to move on to um, advertising on Facebook but before I get there uh, you can see I will let me scroll down and show you something your page isn't Christian people invite people to like your page so they can see posts like this one um, don't invite your friends to like your page is actually um, is actually not really okay because some of your friends can be so funny some of our friends can be so funny that when you invite them they, they will be the ones to destroy business for us so for that being the reason i'm trying to protect the my business so i'm not going to invite any friends to like my page after all if i should advertise on this page this particular page will generate likes automatically people will like the page automatically by, by themselves without me actually inviting them so now um look at this particular angle write a post write a post this is um this is what you are actually familiar with on normal facebook on normal facebook um feed wherever you create a post to reach your friends picture videos to reach your friends and they like it on page you create a post just that just that way exactly so um this particular post is um the content I, is the content and this content is my advert so for this being the reason i have to pay ultimate attention to this particular advert okay to this particular content so for that um i need to create a short cash content because if you are a digital marketer out here you understand that the population uh the generation we have now doesn't read so you don't write a long story as your advert create a short content that is very meaningful now let's just for instance let's assume i want to create i'm going to create a content now uh, and the first line i'm going to create a four line content a four or five line content for my advert which is very short and meaningful so uh, if i should say shared weights shared five to nine kgs within nine days um i want to believe majority of us are familiar with weight management products out there um hardly before you can see weight management that will promise you to shed five to nine kgs within nine days i don't think that is possible but it is actually possible with the kind of products i sell online okay um this particular weight management is so mass is so powerful that if you should if you should follow the the guideline and the direction of use is going you are going to shed between five to nine kgs within nine days if you follow the procedure um appropriately so now um, since 
this particular kind of waste management product is not easy out there to get so some people may be like is that possible i don't think so so they, you know that first line is enough to actually get somebody involved okay share five to nine pages within nine days then you know, should just go ahead at least the first line is catchy but you should go ahead and put 100 percent 100% natural and organic and organic without side effects without side effects um are you following you see um in today's world people are actually going back to nature what i mean by that is that people are tired of orthodox medicine they are tired of taking chemicals let me put it that way so they want to try something natural something organic natural means it contains herbs and roots while organic means it doesn't have any additives like preservatives or work any kind of chemical in it so they will be like wow I think I've gotten what I'm looking for. So share five, five to nine kgs within nine days using an 100% natural, um, the 100% natural and organic method without side effects. And they'll be like, wow, I think this is the best um, waste management product out there. So I might just decide to stimulate customers' interest. You know what? I said, I may just decide to stimulate their interest by adding a kind of side benefits to it. To my product that if you purchase this product i'm going to deliver it to you for free free delivery free delivery anywhere in nigeria i mean decide to use free delivery nationwide but um i want to i want to use um a normal language anywhere in nigeria free delivery anywhere in Nigeria. I'm very sorry to say this. Is there any free delivery? No, there is no free delivery. Because even the delivery charges has been added to the product money. You know, um, this is the kind of way to actually uh, get, simulate people's interest, customers' interest, and get them to buy from you without even thinking twice. For instance, you know, if you purchase anything online, they are going to collect delivery charges after purchasing products online they are still going to collect them. but i'm giving them for free free delivery and they'll be like wow i think this person um is the right person for me so i will just put my contact contact details call so 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 number for more info <laughs> now the moment i say do this call so so, so number for more info you see people will be like oh let me call and let's hear from um the person and you can see on uh, in my content i didn't post anything like price and other things you said only put the first three lines that i think are very important that's what i put so for this being the reason uh this is a very short content for adverts so if you are going to create um, a content for your advert, if you are going to create any advert on Facebook, make sure you use a short, catchy and meaningful content. So um, after that, I'm excited to share now, but no, I'm going to add a part one particular picture that will help me support this particular advert. Okay, let me, I think I love this. Actually, this exposes nudity, but this is not um, a kind of picture of human being so it's very easy for me to go scot free with this so i'm going to save this image on my desktop so i'm going to click on photo here photo or video so the moment i click on that i'm going to upload photos or video so i'm going to search for that picture i just saved from google images um so i'm opening it so this is the image so now the moment i'm done with that i'm going to click on share now make sure you add a part one particular picture or video to your advert you know to actually um get more 
people to uh, understand your adverts purpose. So, um, I've created my adverts. This is it. You see, share 5 to 9 kgs within 9 days, 100% natural and organic without side effects, full delivery anywhere in Nigeria. Cost us also number for more info. So, um, from here, I'm going to click on now. I want to go into the advertising on Facebook, so I'm going to click on boost posts. Now, the moment I click on boost posts. Uh, you can see your ads might not be approved. It looks like you have not yet certified that you will comply with the non, okay, um, with the non-discrimination policy. To continue advertising, click here to certify. Okay, I'm going to accept the non-discrimination policy. So the moment I click accept, it means I don't have issue with that advert um, advertising on Facebook anymore. Okay, the moment I click on it, I've accepted it. Okay, okay, look at it down here. By clicking I accept, you certify that. Yes, I've accepted that. Okay. So um I am not going back to my advert. So um from here we have two options to actually advertise yeah we have two options what is up would you like to would you like from this post get more people to react comment and share connect and share with potential customers well people that come from my physical training at Kega, um they understand that people used to choose this for the first time they are taking my course at physical or at my physical location or online people used to click this they used to accept they used to tell me to choose this connect and share with potential customer well any of the two is okay but let me emphasize on it a little get more people to react comment and share is one of the best thing you can do for your adverts online because the moment you get more reaction more likes more comments and more share people seeing your adverts will see it as something sensible they want to look into it so as for me myself even if i want to click on anything online maybe i'm interested i will have to look the comment the likes and the shares to see if i can actually go and look into it so for that being the reason it's available to use come get more people to react comment and share because that will actually get you to your potential customers and at the same time connect and share to check potential customers is also okay um block on notification okay connect and share to check potential customers is also okay but connect and share to potential customers is dealing with messenger are you with me is what dealing with messenger why get more people to react and share you can actually deal with more than messenger you can use any of these button um i'm going to get that to that aspect so i'm using get more people to react comment and share my advert so after that you can see add a button to your advert send message when you click on it i have no button i'm excited not to add any button to it i just want the advert to be displayed to people and i'm excited to um let us know i want to dive to my online store shop now book now learn more sign up get donation and send message so i'm not going to use any button for now now I will now go to um, audience. Um, before I move on, let me quickly explain a little thing, something to you. Five things will determine how far your advert goes online. Five things will determine that. Number one thing is um, the your audience you're targeting. Under your audience, number one is your the gender you are targeting, the age range you are targeting, the location you are targeting. I'm talking to somebody. The gender, the age range. The location that is the three that is three out of the five so when i get to the remaining two i'm going to put that on ground now i'm going to click on edit audience i said five things earlier um gender comes but before 
the audience comes the content sorry the um, content you are using for your adverts the gender the age and the location you're targeting making it for so the remaining one will be your budget now um, I've created a catchy content a meaningful content now the next thing is um, the gender I'm going to select now weight management um, you are you you should agree with me that weight management is meant for women when I say women is meant for females which means female needs weight management most because most almost all the old females want to look um, slimy they want to look sexy they want to look pretty and, and they don't want to they don't want their men their man to look um, outside so for that being the reason I'm going to target the location the gender that need it most but before I target any gender by default this particular this let me choose Nigeria first. Nigeria. Don't use don't choose Nigeria. Now, there are 22 million people in Nigeria within um, 18 to 65 years plus within Nigeria and gender in all. There are 22 million people on Facebook. So now, if um, I select women. This particular potential reach, potential audience size is going to do up. I'm going to select women. Um, let's go down and let's see what happens. You see, the moment I click on female, it dropped from 22 million to 8.5 million, which means um, there are more males on the on Facebook than females. Aside from that, if I choose um, odd. It means I may actually be targeting the general that don't need my advert and majority majority of the um, budget will just be a waste. So now, after that comes age. It is very um, obvious that people in 18 years, they, they are staying in school, thinking about um, education and other things. So for that being the reason, I'm going to target the working class. As for me, I think working class begins between 27 to 29. So I'm choosing 29. And I'm going to select the age that are still on Facebook. Um, let me stop at, I think, female in their 45 should still be looking for weight management because they are still, um, you know, still beautiful to their husband. You can see the moment I exchange the age range, it dropped from 8.5 million people to 2.7 million which means this um we have 2.7 million people on facebook in nigeria within the age of 29 to 45 and females they are all females so i'm going to click on save make sure you save this particular um audience so that you will be able to target them because if you don't save it you haven't done anything so i'm going to save it Now the moment I save it, I will now move to um I will scroll down from here. I will move to budgets. Now under budgets, you need to pay a lot of attention. Facebook is requesting me to use um by default it sets ten thousand nera, and this ten thousand nera will be spread across five days, um which means I will be spending two thousand nera on daily basis. Now I'm not going to use this kind of um, budget for my advert because 2,000 naira is actually is also okay, but it's too small for me to use per day for my advert. So I'm excited to change my advert. Um, I'm excited to use to use five days and use let me say 10,000 naira per day. So which means 10,000 naira per day is going to be 50,000 naira at the end of five days so ten thousand naira per day so now um i want you to notice something ten thousand your budget all your budget is ten thousand naira for your adverts okay and you want this particular advert to get to a lot of people in a day and to get to learn a lot of people now and uh, facebook is you want to get massive results you see by default if i choose five days Ten thousand naira will be spread across five days, which is two thousand naira per day, and the estimated people that this advert is going to get to is two thousand one hundred people to six thousand. It's telling you that I will show this advert to from the uh, to two thousand minimum of two thousand one hundred people to six thousand maximum. 
if you are spending two thousand naira per day, um, I would advise I would advise you to use the speed of ten or five days in a day. Now, let us know. I decide to change this particular five days to one day. Let's see what happens. You see, this is to get to how many people? Ten thousand people to thirty thousand people, which means um, in a day I can get massive results, massive sales, massive um, order in a day. Now to spread this ten thousand naira across five days, so I, it doesn't mean I'm going to spend the whole of ten thousand naira in a day. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to spend the whole of ten thousand naira in a day. I'm just going to what? I'm just going to use some part of ten thousand naira in a day. At least the speed at which Facebook would spread this advert in a day, with by using that budget, is going to be massive. So for that being the reason, I'm going to boost this particular post now. So now I'm using speed of ten thousand naira in a day, but my budget is two thousand naira per day. Okay. So now once the advert has been approved and it has started getting across to people, you will see people requesting for the products. They will call you. They will request for the products. Okay. Now when you get about let me say ten or nine in a day, you may decide to post the advert and say, okay, I'm not. Using the whole of ten thousand naira today, I just need some order today. So tomorrow you can continue the advert. You can start it again. So I'm going to click on boost post. So the moment I click on boost post, it's submitting my advert. It's submitting it. Okay, my advert has been submitted. So Facebook is going to review it. So when they review the adverts. Um, your advert is now in review. So once they once they review it, um, it's going to be approved. Uh, let's see it down here. So you see in review. So the moment you review it, you will see this advert has reached so so people the result that people that have clicked on the advert. So from here, you will see a particular button here. You are going to see a particular button under this review. It's, it will show active. So from there, you are going to click on. There is a button there where you can easily turn it off. So the moment you turn it off, the advert has been paused. So the following day, you can go there and turn it on again. So from there, you you can start selling massively using Facebook page. Now this is um this advert I just created is what we call paid post engagement, and um I must tell you this. Out of 100% of the academy of the courses I teach, um, I train people on in my academy. Um, this is um, just about, let me say, two percent of it. Paid post engagement is is what is a basic part of um, the starting point in advertising on Facebook. So, which means if I can give you a full um, information about paid post engagement, do you th don't, don't you think there are still a lot of things? Um, that is still need to learn in my academy. So for this being the reason, um, I would advise you to actually see see some opportunity here and dive into the, my digital marketing academy. So um, in my next practical, I'm going to be working you through on how to create a standard advert. But is it that you are a paid member or you are part of my academy? Richard, he said, when somebody invites you to actually join um, a business opportunity join them even though you don't know what you don't know how to do it join them and learn how to do it later so i remain kamaludin alone Nudin, mr khan and i am well known as alo as well so uh, i'll see you in my next practical um i wish you best of luck so for now this is the end of the practical best of luck you can live a formidable life